Hello everyone and welcome back! In this video we will continue our work on Eve from the game Stellar Blade by painting her gloves and sword. In case you want to see the other parts getting painted, there are links in the description. Without further ado, let's get to painting! Starting off with grey sear on her gloves, we will paint both gloves entirely. Afterwards, we will mix a bit of Ulfuen Grey with a grey sear in a 1 to 1 consistency and start making highlights on all the raised areas. Using Warpstone Glow, we will paint the low ends of the gloves. Try to avoid painting more than you should, as you may need to reapply grey. We'll follow up with Runefang Steel and paint the small metallic area on the gloves. Once again, we need to be careful as the area is small and mistakes can happen easily. For the area where the gloves end and the fingers are, we shall use German Grey. Feel free to leave any mistakes done on the finger side, however fix the mistakes on the gloves. At this point, our metallic should have dried, so we will shade it using Nolno -no oil. In order to let the shade dry, we will focus on the skin for the next few steps. With Cadian Flesh Tone, start painting the fingers. In case there are grey areas from previous mistakes, now is a good point to pass with grey and then apply the skin. Mixing equal quantity of Kislev Flesh to Arcadian Flesh Tone, we will do highlights on the fingers. With pure Kislev Flesh, we will add details on the fingers' highest parts. Finally, after all the previous steps, the shade should have dried. We will jump back to Runfang Steel and make highlights close to the metallic's edges. With the gloves done, we will move our focus to the sword. We will start with the internal part first and paint the handle and interior with German Grey. For the blade itself, we will use Iron Hand Steel. Once the metallic has fully dried, we will shade it with null Noir. It is very important for the metallic to have dried, else it may contaminate this shade when you go to apply more of it. After the shade has fully dried, we will apply a highlight of iron hand steel near the edges of the blade. Finally, we will add details of storm host silver on top of our highlights as close to the edge as possible. The result should look like this. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe. Every interaction you make helps the channel grow. All clothes used in this video are on your screen now. I was Miniature Ursus, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one. If you wish to continue watching, here is a nice recommended video for you.